Welcome to our trip to the digestive system. We're going to find out what happens to food inside you. Our first stop is the mouth. Let's take a look inside. My job is to break the food into small pieces using my teeth and start the digestive process by coating everything in saliva. The next stop on our journey is the throat. Mm -hmm. But we need to be careful about what road we take. Hi, the goddess. Whoa, whoa, you can't come in here, air only. You have to go that way. The esophagus takes the food to the stomach through a process known as peristalsis. Let's see how that works. One, two, three, pull! 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 At this point, the stomach coats the food in acid to help break it down further. <sighs> Stop for the food is the small intestine, but before we get there, we need to introduce some more friends. Hi, I'm the liver. I produce bile to help break down fats. I also help remove toxins along the kidneys. I do all the detoxing you will ever need, free of charge. Hi, I, store, I am the gallbladder. I store up all the bile until it is needed. Hi, I'm the pancreas and I produce hormones and enzymes. One of these hormones is insulin which helps us control how the body, the body deals with the sugar. Okay, now back to the food. The next stop is the small intestine, where the nutrients from the food are absorbed into the blood to be transported around the body. Fun fact, if you laid out your intestines from end to end, you'd be dead. Also, the small intestine can be up to seven metres long. After the small intestine has removed all the good stuff from the food, it moves to, into the large intestine. Any extra water is removed from the food, and what's left is called faeces. When this is done, we begin the exit process. Hey Pooh, you can hang out here for a while. Let me tell you about the time I... Anyway, now you know my life story. It's time for you to go on ahead.